What up, guys? I feel like I probably use Workies a lot different than everybody. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use Workies in my junk removal business. Let's just dive in. I'm Andrew, I'm a serial entrepreneur, software engineer, and a junk removal business owner. I started a junk removal business as a stepping stone to return to my passion of technology and apps. I invite you to stick around, hang out, and follow me on my journey from becoming a junk removal business titan to building a billion dollar home services app. Okay, let's jump into work these guys. Honestly, I don't really look at the dashboard because I use Clover. So let's start with schedule, guys. This is kind of the most important thing. I'm going to be talking from the perspective of how I use it on the desktop and how my phone operators. We do not use the mobile app because we get so many phone calls, it is not doable. Obviously, you're gonna be on the go, so you can do most of this stuff on the phone, kind of, I think, but honestly, we got a lot of phone calls coming in. We run the business from the desktop app. It's the only way possible. So let's just start with base setup. One of the most important things to me is the ability on the app. When you're done with the job, you wanna be able to charge the customer, but you need to show them the pricing. Like you talk to them about the pricing ahead of time, but then you add all the items here, the amount of space it took up, all the extra fees, and then it adds on tax. And then from here, you can start deducting and doing your sales tricks so they can see the price dropping. And then I take that price and charge them on the Clover. So first things first is we need to set up all of our items. We are setting up our items and products. So as you'll see, I have all of my items. So I start with all of my trailers, minimum eight, six, four, third, three. You do all of this, okay? I have all my dump trucks, so truck, one eight, one six, one four, yada, yada, yada. Then you get into all of your extra fees. So extra hazardous waste, extra labor, extra stairs. Let's just make another extra fee so you can see how it works. Unsanitary, ooh, wait, I do not have drug paraphernalia in here. So let's add another drug paraphernalia. I don't feel the smelling me. I'm just gonna do 50, it's a service, and I'm not gonna put a description because I'll have the employees just come up with something or, you know, sometimes I run into like three pipes or three needles. You know what, I'm just gonna put 50 per item found. So let's say we find three pipes. They'll be like, hey, it's 50 per pipe, 50 per needle. But you know what? Even though we found six pipes and six needles, I'm just going to charge you a hundred. So, you know, like something like that. And you got to put extra. The reason why I put extra is because it makes it easier to just search. So if the guys are in the trailer, they can search trailer. They can search truck. They can search extra. It'll pull up just those items. So you definitely want to log all of these items so that you can easily on the phone, pull it up when you're charging customer. And maybe I will show you how to do that as well, how I do it on the phone, but you need to at least have the items in the database so you're organized. So that's the first thing, adding items. We wanna make sure customers get text messages. I'm gonna show you my text messages, automation. Automation Center. So Workies has this thing called Automation Center, right? I'm just gonna show you mine for now, how I do it. So I created a, a notification when a job status has on my way, send client a text message immediately. Now let me just show you why I do that. Let's click it, let's look at the text message, preview edit message. Hi, this is a reminder for your upcoming service appointment with Jedi Junk Removal. When, if you have any concerns or updates, please do not have a, hesitate to give us a call. It's just kind of like a nice little reminder so you want to create these little triggers, these automations that are sent out so that you're kind of like keeping ta like keeping your customer up to date and honestly like helps a lot. And then another one of course is on my way. Now they have their own on my way, but I did my own version of it. I'll show you why. Jedi Junk Removal is on the way. Now see this job status on my way. What I did here is, let's go back to settings, sub status. So I created a substatus of in progress and working. Now, the reason I do that is because when you look at, let's just look at the schedule for today, you'll see they're on my way, but there's a substatus of OMW in working. Now, the reason why I have this 
is it lets my dispatch know when they're on the way, so they'll know that they're marked on my way. And then there's another sub status that the crew, if we get the job, mark it working, so that my dispatch knows at all times that they're on my way or working. And also, you know, if we can pull reports in the future. How long did this job take? How many people, uh, yada, yada, yada. But the point is, once they set the status to on my way, let's go back to the automation center. So my automations. So when we said it's on my way, it sends out a text message letting the customer know, hey, we're in route. But actually, I forgot to do something. So we're gonna do another automation since I forgot. Add automation. When a job is status of working, send dispatch a text message, crew marked status now, the reason why I am doing this is it will send a text message to my dispatch team that this job has been marked working. So they just, they don't need to check. They'll just get a little ping, a notification like, hey, they're working. Let's add this automation. So now we have a, we have a new crew has begun working automation. So now when they set the status to in progress working, it lets the dispatch know in the system it's working, but it also shoots them a text message, hey, crew is working now. And honestly, it's probably not a bad idea to do another another trigger to send a dispatch job is done just to keep my dispatch on top of it because things kind of get crazy and you'll see that i have two reviews this is los angeles and ventura branch reviews this is how i'm doing two locations with different google map links so let's just jump into ventura if tag has ventura branch this is how i'm managing multiple locations with a different review link now if you're just one location just start with this one review link and trigger it when a job status has been marked done client text message immediately I'm already at like 120 reviews on my, my newest location. My Ventura location has over 200. This works phenomenally. What I say is, if you love Jedi, would you mind leaving us a review? It really helps us a lot. Thanks, we really appreciate it. Here's the link. And it works well. And obviously I tell my crew to please ask for reviews. So we start doing little competitions or something at the end of the month, most reviews, most sales, and I'm gonna have like a little, actual little leaderboard. It's gonna be pretty cool. That is automations and I covered tags a little bit, but you wanna set all this up immediately, okay? now. We go back to the schedule. Let's go to the first. Okay, this is now creating a job. I'm gonna show you guys how I create a job. I create a job by doing one hour blocks. That's just how I do it. And then I would do 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., this one hour block. But in reality, it sends the customer a two hour window. So we arrive between six and eight. And that's just what my phone operator is trained to do. So every time they create a listing or a, a job, a text message will be like, our crew will arrive between six and eight. We always do two hour windows no matter what. Let's say we do 8 a.m. So hey, we have an 8 to 10 a.m. booking. We arrive between 8 and 10, does that work? Yes. Okay, great. Let's do Andrew Thompson. Okay, so we're gonna assign this to the LA crew. So you're gonna set up your, your team members, your actual field techs. So I do field techs by crew, not by individual employee because it's always two employees and they split tips. So I just make it by crew. We got LA crew, Ventura crew. We are going to put a whole bunch of stuff. This is a um, this is an apartment clean out. So I'm gonna show you guys. I got the text immediately. The client, I'm the client, saying time 8 a.m. Two hour arrival window. Yada yada yada. Very very efficient and really helps with streamlining your entire process. Even if you have one client a day, I strongly recommend setting up automations. But I also forgot to tell you guys something about settings. We'll get to this, we'll go back to these settings, but I created all these job types. Okay, so I have all these set up. If you do multiple locations, this is where the tags come in handy. But if you're one location, don't worry about this. But I have LA branch. So if I tag it LA branch, it will get a review link when I mark it done. Let's go over the items that we did earlier. So you can do this on your phone and this is what you will be doing on your phone. Let's say we get to the customer. Okay, sir, this was a full load. Boom, full load. The tax in LA is 9.5%. So they're at 870, but you know what? There was a lot of extras. We had heavy weight, we had stairs. 
I didn't add. We had long distance, but it was really long. So per two, 100 feet. So we're gonna do two of those. We're gonna add, he had one paint can. Hazardous waste per five gallons, but it's, I don't prorate hourly late extra labor. I don't prorate hazardous waste. It's 50 if they have one, it's 50 if they have five gallons. So now, as you can see, we are now at $1,089. They're gonna see that. Now, if I can get the 1,089, I'll take the 1,089. But if they want some love, I'll give them some love. And I'll start dropping. We're not gonna charge you for the heavyweight, sir. We're not gonna charge you for the long distance. It's, we're, we were at a thousand something. You know what, sir? Because you're so cool, I'm not gonna charge you the tax. Boom. I have to charge you for the paint because I have to go somewhere else for that. You are at 845. And like I said, guys, I have my prices high enough to where I can eat 10%. Since you're so cool, I'm gonna give you 10%. 5% veteran, 5% senior. It has now gone to 760. And let's just say they're really struggling. It's a lot for them. Take off the hazardous waste. You're at 715. And this is my this is my full low price in my trailer up in Ventura. So I've effectively basically still got seven hundred dollars for my full load, but it was at eleven hundred. If you're using the Clover machine, you go into the payment section, you add a payment, seven ninety five. I always do credit offline because I'm using the Clover machine, which I recommend you use. I know Workies is working on a new tipping feature, so I'm excited to see how that works for you guys. Let me know. I still stand by Clover, so we'll add the payment. So boom, now it's zero balance. It's paid off in my systems and in my reports were clear. That is how I use workies to do a little bit of sales psychology. I then take that price, go plug it into the Clover machine, bing, 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 done, prints out the receipt, boom. However, this is a fake job. I'm going to delete this job. All you gotta do is go actions, delete job. That is how you create a job. That is how you add items to the job. Okay, so I'm gonna show you some of my favorite features now. So let's get into some of the features that makes Workies great for running multiple jobs during the day. So we are at Monday the 16th. Let's go to timeline mode. Here's a decent day. So you'll see I have the crews broken down. LA crew on top, Venture. So they make it very convenient to kind of like see the jobs for each crew. Timeline mode, is awesome because you can keep track of each crew and it's just a little cleaner than in this view where you have like a job side by side week view is very useful too so you can kind of see out into the future and this really helps for the next day or the current day so you can kind of reroute things as i go into this plant and hit these little arrows and you can see where you're driving. So this gives you the opportunity to schedule in jobs where you like, so when I get a phone call, I can schedule in a job between five and six or like between here and here. Usually like I always have a one hour block and a two hour block in between each job. And then I can squeeze the job in if it makes sense between seven and eight. Or, you know, like if I'm coming back down to the last job ends in Encino over here, I can throw in another job last minute. But even better, you can go to the next day and you can see where the jobs are and kind of call prior and move things around because a lot of people are somewhat flexible as long as you get it done that day some people they need it done on the time they scheduled but you still have the opportunity to call and move things around to help your drivers save on gas and we, we do this a lot we also go to the next day and call each person before the day is over to verify their appointment because this this month we've had a lot more cancellations than ever but that is the the timeline and plan route feature, which I really like. And honestly, sending out invoices, I mean, that's pretty straightforward. If you go into a job, let's just go into here, open up a job. Sending out invoices, so you would add the items and then you would just go create invoice, right? And then you can preview it and you'll see trailer half load has my logo and then you can actually just hit send and i think it sends it via it gives you the option or email or text and speaking of my logo on invoices we do need to go back to settings so let's go over some more settings guys job types was one thing we didn't go over add job types so i put junk removal apartment blah blah, blah house garage backyard storage attic and then everything else that you don't you forget or whatever you just put under junk removal so you want to do your job types Let's go back to documents. Do you want to do this for invoices, estimates, and work orders? So invoices, you'll see I changed my logo right here. So you want to do the same thing. Just change your logo. I think I did on estimate as well. Put your logo. I did a little bit. I did a different layout. They got some designs. I'll just play around. But get your logo on there. And then custom fields. You'll see I have before and after photos required to close. I actually want to add uh, an image before 
photos, extra info, all job types required to close, save, put that above it. We're gonna change this to after photos. In order to close the job out and mark it done, they have to take before and after photos. So every time you're like, I can't mark the job done, you're kind of like, like, hey guys, I wasn't able to close the job because you forgot the before and after photos. I really need those or the job won't close out and it fucks up the system. They'll start taking the before and after photos. That's custom fields. So those are the settings that I have set up and it's in the app. I don't want to show you right now, I don't want to pull it up, but when you're in the job, you have to go to job details, okay? There's a little section that says job details, go into job details. That's where you put the before and after photos, not attachments. I think that covers most of how I use the software. I do not use their call center. It looks interesting, but I use Ring Central. The map is pretty useful too, but I usually just use the plan route. The map, you can go by the day right here. You can go by jobs. We'll go to, yeah, so we're on today. But I just honestly use the plan route feature. I'm thinking about setting up some Zapier stuff, so I'll let you know when I do some integrations with Zapier. Online booking, I just use the URL link right here. I didn't do the actual embed code that most people are doing because when you go to Jedi Junk Removal, when you go here, book now, it just goes to this link right here, which they book a free estimate. I, it's okay. I like the I like the embedded version one better, but I was just too lazy. But it works, you know. So the online booking is pretty easy. I just use this URL link. Here's the embed code though, if you want the cooler looking where it's embedded into your website. So the online booking is pretty straightforward. The only items that I have available for online booking is free estimate. So since you're gonna make all those items that I showed you in the beginning, make sure that you have the uh, the toggle turned off or available in online booking. You do not want them to be able to just, unless you want them to be able to just book full loads, I don't want them to see the prices. I want them to call. That is how you use workies. Honestly, this would work for junk removal, moving, any any kind of business you want to do any home services business this would probably help you guys so i hope that helped thanks for watching everybody if you liked what i did and you want more technical videos like this please like comment please comment it really lets me know if you guys like what i'm doing subscribe if you like what i'm doing it really helps me out and lets me know that i should keep publishing and pushing content and please also don't forget i have a discord channel that i started for all of us to chat check it out the links in the description i'm on there 24 7 you have questions are you new to the business you want us to bid your job there's tons of people in there who are willing to help out and i also have all of my resources that i use including the pricing sheet check-in sheet and so much more in the discord channel i love to see you guys in there we're building a big community and it's going to be awesome and as always toodles Oops.